Hello everyone and a warm welcome to Tech Learnings. Today we are going to see the implementation part of the design pattern circuit breaker. Okay, so what we have done is we have you know written two services. One is demo, which is containing an API. Say hello to a username which we are going to provide. Okay, so and it is simply turning hello with that username. So I have uh, you know this application running at uh, eighty eighty and let's try to quickly run it so say hello and let's say rahul so in order to save the time i have you know keep the application running and uh, written the code for you already so say hello this is the api and let's try to consume this api in another project which is demo one where ha where it has a method an API another API greetings bring me the greetings for this user and what we are calling the same API endpoint of uh, our other demo service to fetch the greetings okay and uh, a couple of things now here what is hysterix command and even before that so to enable hysterix we have to you know use this annotation enable his enable uh, circuit breaker and uh, we are using the library about library hysterix so hysterix is uh, basically a library provided by the netflix and uh, it has the circuit it's an implementation of the your circuit breaker pattern and why is it deprecated so unfortunately it's deprecated and it's not in any active you know development but for demo reasons we are you know using this and from where this enable circuit breaker annotation is coming let me just show you that as well so this is coming from this particular dependency which we are using from spring cloud and it's named as spring cloud starter netflix hysterix okay so what we uh, you know have to do is add this annotation to the main class of your uh, you know project and uh, <clears throat> then what this annotation does is it scans all the components of your application and uh, wherever it sees this annotation hysterix command and if it has a fallback method specified then it is going to invoke the fallback method if in case this does not respond or this does not behave as expected or the circuit is open right in other words so it's not necessary that you put this you know uh, at the controller layer it can be you know like i said any component as well so if we successfully get the response then of course our you know uh, response is going to get returned from this uh, uh, demo service but if in case we do not get response from there so we are going to get the default greetings where we have mentioned welcome and username okay so i have this running at uh, 8081 so let me just show you 8081 and uh, greetings which is the, you know uh, the endpoint and the name of the user let's say greetings slash shiv so we get hello shiv and from where we are getting from this demo service okay so let's stop this demo service once okay so this service is stopped and let's try to invoke the endpoint again so this time we are getting welcome shoe which is being returned as from you know uh, this method which is you know hysterix command says okay this doesn't work so i need to you know go to the fallback method and return the default greetings which is welcome and the username okay so this is the basic implementation uh, of uh, you know circuit breaker pattern with the help of hysterix and we saw it with you know very simple uh, two services let's a and b or demo one or demo whatever way you you know you call it and uh, yeah there are a couple of things like the rest template we you know we may never want to initialize it in uh, this way in our you know production code or the naming conventions of the methods and uh, stuff like that could be better but again like i said this is for demo reasons only we want you to understand the concept and how easy it you know uh, is it to you know em embed hysterix or uh, there are a bunch of other libraries as well like resilience 4j is one of them and there are others as well so we can you know uh, use them as well into our projects in fact uh, hysterix 
because it's fabricated so it's better to avoid it as well all right so that's about the demo let me know if you have any queries questions okay it was a simple implementation and uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye take care